Hey everyone, it's Elaine. I'm going to do a little bit of a different thing here today. It's not really artsy. Well, it's not artsy at all. Um, but I want to share with you a video that I had posted actually last year on Facebook. Where I live, we feed the hummingbirds. And we have four or five feeders out on our front porch all the time. Believe me, I make a lot of sugar water in the summer months. Anyhow, there was this one morning I looked out. And if you can, if I can explain this, the hummingbird feeders, of course, all hang around the porch. And then we have the pillars. Um, just ours are just pretty much four by four post and on then the, um, the railing. Well, this huge spider, and I don't know what they're called, they're pretty common around here, had apparently built a web. Well, I have really big front windows. So I looked out, and all of a sudden I noticed that a hummingbird was caught in that web. So, of course, I panic, go out the door, pull the hummingbird gently out of the web. The web doesn't even break. But that hummingbird, you can tell, is traumatized. And, you know, they've got those little fast hearts and zoop, 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 anyway. And then now this. So, I had always wanted to hold a hummingbird, but not under these circumstances. But anyway, I had the hummingbird in my hand, and I was picking off the web. And, I don't know, I, I thought I was being pretty successful. Excuse me, I have some glue on me. And, um, anyhow... We keep a five-gallon bucket of fresh water for our outside dogs. And so I dip the hummingbird gently in it, you know, just on its back to get a little bit of the other webs off and everything. And then, I don't know, I just kind of stroked the hummingbird for a while and zoom, off into the trees it went. Success, victory, I was so excited. Well, of course, I didn't capture anything on video because... I was in the moment. Why do you want to video something where somebody or something needs help and you're standing there damn videoing? So I didn't do that. Well, then the next morning, well, let me back up. I tore down that web. I thought this, no. So I tore down the web. Well, the next morning, I look out the window. Everything's cool. No web. Huh. Well, two seconds later, I look out the window, and there is another hummingbird caught in a web in that same spot. I couldn't see the web, apparently, from inside until that hummingbird was trapped. Now, this hummingbird was a little bit of a different story. It hadn't been there really very long, and yep, it was traumatized. I picked the web off, gave it a little bath, but this hummingbird would not take off. It wouldn't. So... I did. I had the hummingbird in my hand, and I kind of wanted to show everybody. I am part of a um, hummingbird group on Facebook, and they have they take beautiful pictures of hummingbirds. And there are some hummingbirds that out there that I have never seen anything like them. Anyhow, so I did. I did about a one-minute video, and I'm going to show it to you here in a second. And it's me holding the hummingbird, and you know, I guess at this point in time, wanting it to dry off and be able to fly away. So here's the video, and then I'll be right back with the rest of the story. Good morning, everyone. Well, this is the second morning in a row that I have rescued a hummingbird. What is happening is there is now a spider that builds its web close to one of my feeders and yep the hummingbirds get trapped I hate it the one yesterday I was able to pull the web off give it a little bath and off it flew into the trees this one I have not been as fortunate I have cleaned it up the best I can and I just can't get it to fly I don't know what to do, but I'm not giving up. I just wanted to share, everybody, keep your spider webs away. 
from the hummingbirds. I never considered this before. Wish me luck. Now, isn't that something? You can see the hummingbirds' little feet. I mean, it's alive. It's okay. But it took me a little while. So I stayed with the hummingbird, got it a little drier, hopefully got it somewhat calmed down. But I tell you, that hummingbird, I could feel its little heart like right in its throat, just throbbing, beating. I mean, it was heartbreaking to me. Anyhow, eventually, sure enough, the little hummingbird regained their composure. I would stick my finger in some sugar water and put it up there to their beak. I figure a little bit of sugar is better than no sugar. I, I, I couldn't make it drink out of a little bowl or anything, so that was the best I knew how to do. Hindsight now, I probably should have grabbed an eyedropper or something, but it is what it is. Anyhow, the little bird did take off. So it was a happy ending, and or at least I hope it was. Of course, you never know. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. But I, I, I just felt that I wanted to say something to everyone about this. We don't really think about the spider webs in our yards and around. I mean, the spiders apparently can build a darn sticky web. And let me tell you, that web was sticky. I just guess I never realized it. Anyhow, happy ending. Thank heavens. But please... Look out for spider webs around your yard and everything for those poor little hummingbirds. They're kind of defenseless once they got trapped in it. So I appreciate it. And I know this was off topic for normally what I do and everything. But thanks for listening to me. And I'll catch you all later. Bye.